You said God did. Yeah, God. So it's like God definitely did. So it's like God believed in me. Right. You know what I'm saying? God support me. God gave me he the opportunity. He did support you. He gonna keep supporting you. Exactly. So it's like if nobody come to my city and give me an opportunity or a chance, as long as God do out, that's all that matters. Period. You know now I, I want to also ask about some other, um, just some other big moments that I've seen on Love and Hip Hop. Like you know, there was a scene with you and Gunplay over the reunion, and you just kind of like young. opened up about like being sober and just like your past and everything like that. Why do you feel like that was important to like share about about your story? So so. When I got on Love and Hip Hop, the first uh, my first episode, mm -hmm. I mean my first season, I, w I, 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 I looked at everybody on the show and I looked at it in every scene that we go in, mm -hmm. everybody just get drunk and just T turn up. like Just get drunk and just <laughs> let they self go. Yeah. It's like I'm drunk, whatever y'all motherfuckers, throwing cups and... And I'm like, damn, we just drunk and being like, yeah. we drunk animals. You know what I'm saying? So I said, you know what? I'm no longer getting drunk. Mm -hmm. I'm no, I'm no longer, I'm not long, I'm no longer getting drunk. I'm no longer getting high. I'm no longer nothing because I'm like, this is the opportunity of a lifetime. Right. For some people, it might just be love and hip hop. Right. But for me, I look at it like opportunity of a lifetime because any opportunity or position that God put me in to me is an opportunity of a lifetime that I have to Amen. take. Full advantage of. I don't care if it's Judge Mathis. We gonna get, we get, gonna get to that. Wait, we gonna get to that. Let, let's finish this and we no, gonna get I to know, that. Let me say, I don't care what it is. So what I did was, this was in 2018. I went completely sober. Mm -hmm. No, no liquor, no weed, no hookah, no mm -hmm. nothing. Right. And I've been that way since 2018 for five years now. I've been completely sober. Mm -hmm. And um. Congrats. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Okay. thank you. And the reason I felt that. Felt of it, uh, it was so important to share uh, uh, with, 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 with Gunplay at his mental health mm -hmm. event, right? Was because um, I know Gunplay dealt with a lot of yeah. drug addiction, and mm -hmm. I know a lot of people. And he's been open on the show about it. He's been it too. open on the show about it, and I know a lot of people across the country and around the world deal with drug addiction, alcoholism, and things of that nature. So, with me knowing that, I just wanted to show people, like, hey, I'm like everybody think I be on something because mm -hmm. my personality is so big. So I just wanted yeah. people to know if, if my crazy ass can 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 be sober mm -hmm. and, and still live a good happy life, then your crazy ass could too. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> I know that's right. And I want to go back because um, a lot of the times we will see like. You know, like you said, you want to make sure you're using your opportunity on this platform the, the appropriate way. We, we'll see people that are being on Love & Hip Hop season after season. They say they're artists or they're entrepreneur and they're not doing anything out, exactly. off the camera. So, I know you have Princess Treatment. You just dropped that recently yeah, yeah, yeah. with Sukiyana. I just dropped that. I just dropped that. Um, so, just tell my uh, viewers about that and, you know, the so, whole concept about Princess Treatment. Because you know we need it, right? Yeah, so for me, right... <laughs> When it come down to the, the whole princess treatment mm -hmm. movement, movement, what happened was, like I say, before I was Mister These Hoes for everybody. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I didn't. I didn't have love. I didn't. I didn't have that love from a woman. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, she loved me for mm -hmm. real. I, I just had whores. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, so, she it wants sounds so harsh, whores. No, but I got to keep it real. Like, yeah. she just want whatever she want. I get what I want. Mm -hmm. Even exchange and we keep it moving. Then I met somebody who I was talk, telling you about before we turned the cameras yeah. on. I met somebody who really like showed me love and, and showed me like that, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Real women do exist mm -hmm. and gave me a, a different outlook on women. Even even like she, she cause like she was like, she, I, she always used to be like, she always, whenever I used to talk about whores, mm -hmm. she always used to be like, listen, some of my friends are whores. That don't mean that they bad people. Yeah. Like, and, and it was like, she just, she just always gave me a different perspective yeah. and outlook on, on, on women. Mm -hmm. And it don't mean that some women ain't hoes. Some don't mean that some women ain't doing dudes right. It don't mean that. It's just that a lot of women is misunderstood. So it's like, that part. if a woman is misunderstood and... Us men is just constantly dragging them in the mud, bitches and hoes, and um, exploiting them and things of that nature. It's like, how can we ever 
get a woman to to get her mind right and come to her senses mm -hmm. and, and make that transition within herself and believe in herself again right. and understand that she is she is powerful she is a virtuous woman that she is um special that you know what I'm saying? How, how to teach her self love? Yeah. How can we teach a woman self love? How can we encourage a woman or build a woman up when we constantly tearing them down in every interview, or we constantly tearing them down in every song, yeah. or we constantly dragging them through the mud? You know what I'm saying? We telling them that they don't look right, or we telling women about colorism. This color yeah. look better. This, you know what I'm saying? When we That's true. we it's it's like women. We mentally making women insecure with yeah. the way we kicking and living our life. That's why so many women get in surgery. That's why so many women want to be shaped perfectly because we done drove them insane. <laughs> so my whole thing was with princess treatment was to, to really just get back. It's not about a monetary thing. Mm -hmm. It ain't about buying gifts and mm -hmm. um, buy you purses and bags and shoes. No, <clears throat> it's more about just it embracing it. Yeah, it's a mindset. Okay. It's just about embracing a woman. It's just about showing a woman, hey man, I appreciate you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? From a, from the nine to five women to the to the business owners, right. from the skinny women to the to the heavier women to the slimmer women to the whatever you will to the this color women right. that color. It don't matter what shape, size, color, look, ethnicity. It don't matter. You're a queen. You're beautiful. You're special. I love you. I care about you. I want to give you this princess treatment. Here go some flowers. Here go a gift card with a hundred dollars. Go get yourself something to eat. Here go. Here go. Uh, oh, you selling these cookies? Let me buy all of your cookies from you. Oh, you doing this? Let me do this for you. Oh, it's Valentine's Day. I went to the cancer center uh, treatment on the floor and just gave all the nurses baskets. I wanted the, to ask you about that because I, I seen because you've been documenting it all on your page. I'm like, yeah. I like this movement that you're doing I need yeah. more men need to give princess treatment I'm just saying that yeah. but I know that you uh were with one of the women that had cancer yeah so that was one of my one of my um that was one of my followers mm. you know what I'm saying and she uh because I'll be I'll be reading my DMs mm -hmm. like on my downtime I'll go read my DMs you know what I'm saying some girls be in there shooting their shots <laughs> I slide past <laughs> that but then like she was somebody who wrote me a message about her situation mm -hmm. and I read it and I, I asked her what's her number. She gave me her number and I called her. Mm -hmm. She was geeked. I FaceTimed her too. Mm -hmm. She was geeked. Oh, oh my God. She vibing or whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. And um, she was telling me her, her she said, I don't want princess treatment. Mm -hmm. I said, so what you want? She said, I want you to come to the hospital and give all the nurses at the hospital princess treatment because she said, these women are saving lives. Mm -hmm. She said these women took so good care of me and they take so good care of the other patients mm -hmm. in there. And she said these like just phenomenal women that get overlooked. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? I'm like, wow. So I said, you don't want princess treatment. You want me to give it to them? Mm -hmm. She was like, yeah. But that's amazing. I was like, cool. I said, I'll be to Miami for Valentine's Day. Let's do it. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So the, my chick who I, I, I mess with, my girl, we were supposed to go out the country mm. for Valentine's Day together. I canceled that trip. I said, you come with me to Miami. We're going to give princess treatment out to some people, some other people who, who deserve it yeah. for Valentine's Day. Yeah. She was like, I support it. Let's go. She was the one who was recording me. Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. So, she supports it. <laughs> yeah. She supports the princess yeah. treatment movement. And she <laughs> supports you. So, yeah. you would say that. Your bae, your lady, she is the one that do you, would, would you say she inspired the princess treatment she, movement? She, de she definitely inspired. She okay. definitely not because I had the record. Mm -hmm. I had the record, but the record is about her. Mm, I was gonna ask you, but yeah. you already read my mind. So I, and then I'm dropping an album, and my album is called The Provider. Okay. And pretty much my that's whole, a statement. Yeah, that's what the album. The album is called The Provider, and it's basically just, you know, the whole album is just encouraging women and encouraging people in general to um you know love one another take care of one another mm -hmm. don't settle for less right it's like a it's like a manuscript on life it's like if a woman get my album and really listen to it from the back she gonna have a whole different outlook on life she gonna know that this is what i deserve and i'm not compromising mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying for sure because when is the album dropping the end of march okay. the end of this month so um yeah she inspired it and i went in there i gave all of the Patients and all of the nurses princess treatment. They mm -hmm. went crazy and then when we was leaving out She was like man. Thank you so much mind you I gave Valentine's Day baskets to everybody in there, mm -hmm. but her 
She didn't get no basket. Mm -hmm. So I was like, when we was leaving, she was like, man, thank you so much, man. I appreciate you so much. This is the best Valentine's Day ever. Da -da 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 -da. Wait, I tell my husband about this. This is going to be crazy. <laughs> Ooh, I can't wait till you post the footage. I was like, okay, thanks. And then she was she was leaving. I was like, I said, you got Apple Pay on your phone, right? She was like, yeah. I was like, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. She left and got in her car. I waited 10 minutes and then I just sent her 2500 mm. Just because she wanted to bless other people and didn't even, I, I wasn't even think about her. I paid her 2500 but I didn't put that part in there. Mm. Because that part wasn't for... That part Social wasn't media. for the, yeah. that wasn't for the, that, that was, was for, for her. her. Yeah. That was for her. That was her blessing. Look at how he blessing people because they want to bless others. Yeah, that I feel like that blessing was for her between us because she wanted to be a blessing to others and yes. she got stage four cancer. Mm. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So that's deep. Yeah. And I'm I'm about to, I got something like that coming up with the um of uh, for the AIDS, for the AIDS, uh mm -hmm. for for the AIDS people. Um, I went to the, the hospital, the, one of the biggest AIDS facilities, and mm -hmm. I talked to the director, and they said they're gonna allow me to do it, and I want to, but I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it like I'm gonna do it with them, and cause it's the 31st, it's the 31st um, anniversary mm -hmm. of having that AIDS center open, okay. and is that here in Atlanta? Yeah, and okay. they saved so many people out, mm -hmm. and so many people don't know that it's so much things right now that could prevent AIDS and yeah. HIV. And they don't like, talk about it. It's almost really like it's I, when I was sitting down with that director. You, it's like a cure. Mm -hmm. It's really like a cure. They got stuff where if a woman catches AIDS, I mean HIV, mm -hmm. while she's pregnant, they got stuff that the baby can't oh, catch. Yeah. It. It's like a lot. So I'm gonna do this thing with them. Where I'm gonna because people don't talk about HIV they no don't. more. They act like HIV don't even exist no more, and sexually transmitted diseases don't exist no more. Same. So I'm gonna do something big with them. On sexually transmitted diseases, we're probably That's gonna amazing. make it a concert okay. and things like that. So I'm really, I'm really in the process of starting a um, a nonprofit organization. Mm -hmm. I haven't fully started it all, put it all together but yet. You see the but I'm in the process yeah. of doing it. I got my team is helping me like put everything together well because I want to. I just want to. It's not just only about princess treatment. It's just about you know what I'm saying a uh, blessing the world. But yeah. by me having my single, I'm starting it off with the women mm -hmm. and, and, and 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 challenging other men. To, you know what I'm saying? Step up, step up to the front line. Yeah, step up help. to the plate because even if you feel like a woman don't deserve um, financial princess treatment, mm -hmm. oh I ain't giving that girl no money. Yeah. She this, she that, she a gold digger. You know you can sit down with her and maybe just give her some perspective. That's princess yeah. treatment too. Yeah, and just having being a, a conversation. good human. Just having, and just yeah. treating people like they're supposed to be treated. Good. Like, just hey, how you doing, beautiful? You yeah. all right? You getting in that car right there? Let me grab that door for exactly. you. Exactly. Listen, I just want you to know you're beautiful and you're amazing, and you know you don't have to settle for nothing that you don't. You know, blase squase, and that's 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 all I want to tell you. You're amazing. Yeah. I don't want your number. I don't want your Instagram. I just want you to know that you are an amazing person, and. God loves you and walk away. And that's Period. giving princess treatment. For sure. Now, I got a couple other questions. Let me see. <laughs> we didn't got because you didn't give me all this rundown. I didn't even know this was coming. Okay. Oh, okay. Now, um, I want to go to your musical influences. Okay. I want to know you, especially like being from Miami, being from the South. Like, who are some of your musical influences? And do you have any features that we can expect on the album? So, um. I uh, man, I'm so inspired. Like, if you look at my my wall in here, you can see like some of my influences. So my brother, Pitch Black, free him. He's one of my biggest influences because he's like that's who I started off doing music with. Mm -hmm. Nipsey is definitely one of my yeah, like. Come on, man, Nipsey is a goat. Okay. Like that's so why I put the 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 the, the, the uh, this painting on, on on the wall with the God will rise and the prolific tat like because I, I I'm I'm prolific. Period. Uh, definitely Bob Marley, okay. Tupac. Okay, what's you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know I'm saying. <laughs> Whitney was one of my Whitney was one of my biggest influences. Like, Whitney Houston. I love. Oh my God, I love. I, I wanna dance with somebody. Hey. I wanna be in love heat with somebody. Hey. Yeah, I wanna. Dance. Somebody mm. boom, boom, with, with somebody, somebody who loves me. Baby. Okay, you see, so you can see. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> so you can see that guy right there with the red right there. Oh, the pen in the back. Yeah, that's one of my biggest influences. You gotta tell them who that is. That's me. Period. <laughs> I knew because I could tell by the onk tag. You know, we but the onk, onk yeah, gang. Okay. Exactly. But those like some of the late greats that's passed that's, mm -hmm. that I'm influenced by. But here right now, I would say like right now, modern day, mm -hmm. 
Um, I would definitely say, man, the industry in a whole mm -hmm. is I'm inspired by. I'm inspired by, like, I'm inspired a lot by how, you know, um, people is finding their own way right. through through these social media apps and mm -hmm. being self sufficient. Oh, that's I my ask most. You about that. That's I think that's my biggest. That's my biggest like. That's my biggest like influence and motivation. The self sufficient. Yeah. The self sufficient system that's going on in the, in the industry right now. Mm -hmm. Well, we could just pick it right now with these devices right here. Mm -hmm. With these devices right here, you can touch the world. Right. You can get your music, your content, whatever your 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 your, your um products, mm -hmm. your brand to everybody Everything. in the world with these things right here. Now, what do you think about because you know we we live in a TikTok generation. Like, mm -hmm. how do you feel about like artists using TikTok, like the dances and creating Man, all I that love to it. like propel I their career? I love it because you know why? We 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 come we come. They 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 took everything from us. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? At one point in time, they took everything from us. They script us. You understand what I'm saying? And then when they script us, they can't, they 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 took over the, they took over the universe, mm -hmm. and they and they put these they put all of these plans in action together to work against us. And we took a lot of the things that they that they put to work against us with and made something out of ourselves with. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? So a lot of these apps, the TikToks, the Instagrams, people be saying, oh, the kids don't want to learn that no more. They want to be on TikTok and Instagram. Well, guess what? Everybody everybody can't. I tell my girl this all the time. She be like, a lot of people not educated. Okay, baby. Everybody, everybody can't go get educated now. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, what I mean by that, and don't take that in the wrong way when I say educated. I'm talking about book smart. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? A lot of people, everybody ain't book smart. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? That's but like everybody ain't street smart too. Everybody yeah. ain't street smart. But that don't mean that because I ain't book smart, I can't make something out of myself. Period. That don't mean because I don't know geometry, I can't make something out of myself. Period. That don't mean because I didn't graduate from Harvard, I can't make something out of myself. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like, I like the fact that no matter what struggle or no matter what situation a person came from, they still have these platforms that they can make something out of themselves with. Mm -hmm. Like you got people that you got crackheads that 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 make something out of themselves on social media. I mean they be you know going saying? viral for the wrong things sometimes. And I, and I know that and I know that for people, some people it be short lived. Mm -hmm. It be a come and go thing. But I mean guess what man? This is life, bro. Mm -hmm. Every everything ain't to be forever. Right. You know what I'm saying? Some people having moments in their life in the internet right now that, that's going to last with them forever. Right. You know now, you talk about moments on the internet and how they're going to last forever. You were just on Judge Mathis. I told you I was going to come back to that. Mm -hmm. I need to know, did you and Georgia make up? Because you was going I in gave, on her. Look, so, I gave Georgia. Georgia sued me, y'all. Don't give them too much because they got to watch the episode. Yeah, Georgia yeah. sued me. Yeah, Georgia Rain sued him because he had all the girls at the house. But y'all gotta watch the episode. Okay? It, was, it was see, it was a, it was an Airbnb. <laughs> okay, anyways, did y'all make up because y'all had a relationship? Yeah, I gave before. her. I gave her. Yeah, I gave her more money. I, I know. Then, then she was. But we, yeah. I want to know after the show, like y'all still cool? Yeah, that's my dog. That's my dog. Okay. That's my dog. We didn't have no smoke before. Okay. It was just like she was like, "Oh, you owe me." And I'm like, "I don't owe you, bro." Like. Because that, I, I don't want to spill too much tea, but yeah. I was like, no. And she like, yeah. And she's like, well, I'm gonna sue you. And I'm like, and I didn't know she had plugs with Judge Mathis. Now them people. Uh, well, she said she it? had been on the show. That was like her second time. They subpoenaed me and everything. And I'm like, wow. Now how was Judge Mathis? Because all I be, I was just like, I was just waiting for him to be like a crackhead. You know, all he says is crackhead. Not that you on crack or Georgia. No, I, no, no. You know how he be cutting up. And yeah, but he knew he knew that he had some 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 people of status <laughs> on the show that right. Night. So he know he can't come like that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? He knew. He knew. He, he was knew talking the, about the crypt though. When you, yeah. Oh my gosh. He was talking about the crypt though. I was talking about the crypt though. I was talking about the crypt though. You know what I'm he was talking about the crypts. I was talking about the crypt though. The crypt though now. You hear me? Not the crypts. The crypt though. Because he said ain't no crypts in Miami. Yeah, nah, it's the crypt though. It's crypt though in Miami. <laughs> All right, I, we didn't talk about so much. Um, yeah. Outside of your new album coming out, The Provider, uh, what else do you have going on that we can be looking forward I'm, to? I'm filming Love and Hip Hop Atlanta right now. Oh. That's why I'm in Atlanta. 
So you didn't switch over to the city. So I had to move from my, uh, Miami to Atlanta with the help of. Okay. Shout out to Paramount. <laughs> shout out to Love and Hip Hop. You know, <clears throat> with the help of those guys, okay. you know, I came and got a beautiful condo in Atlanta. And, and it's not. <laughs> and I'm out here um, filming right now, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. So I'm filming that right now. And then after I film that, I got two more other shows I'm going to be filming. So I'm filming three shows back to back to back. Okay. So, and uh, one of them on MTV and two of them is on VH1. But I can't speak on the nah, other two say shows. You give us a little. I can't speak on the other two shows, but it's a blessing. You know what I'm saying? And one of the shows, I'm going to just give you the game. You okay. know, you could be between like one on MTV. Okay. And two on VH1. So whatever shows y'all think I'll fit in on MTV and VH1, just know those are the three shows that I'm working right now. Okay. So um, I got that going. Um, I'm, I'm dropping this album. I'm, I'm pushing this music. Uh, I'm definitely getting into... I'm getting it. I'm not... Because I'm, I'm not a liar. Okay. I'm getting into real estate right okay, now. So I'm in the process of... I'm in the process of grabbing some property right now. I still have my, my jet ski rental company in uh, Miami so I got like the jet ski boat rental company in okay. Miami that's still going I still got the barbecue spot in Miami oh, I didn't know you had a that's, barbecue yeah, spot yeah I got a barbecue spot in Miami okay. it's called brothers and sisters okay my uncle that's ran in, that. in Overtown yeah my uncle okay. run that you know what I'm saying and then I got my chicos they running the um jet ski rental company down in Miami and um you know I just got a bunch of other things going on so I'm in the fitness heavy I'm doing my working out like I've been eating eating clean working out I'm about to do something big in the fitness world with um with my with my trainer okay. over at the, the gym I work out at at the Loft Athletic Club. We about to do some major things. So I just got a whole bunch of stuff coming. Like I to be honest with you, I can't even really tell y'all much of what got what what, what 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 what's in store for me because mm -hmm. it's really God's plan. I so I always right. like to tell people when they be like, Well, what's next? I be like, whatever God got in store for me because if it ain't if it ain't on God's time or God's plan, it ain't gonna trend, it ain't gonna transpire anyway. So like with God's the things plan. you see happening in my life, as as life goes on, everything that you see happening in my life, just know that that was God's plan. Period. So you got new music, new Love music. Hip Hop Atlanta. Yep. Two other shows. Yep. Get into real estate. Yep. You got your barbecue business. Yep. Your jet ski business. Yep. He just got businesses. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I didn't cut his hair. He acting up out here, y'all. Oh yeah, I forgot about me cutting <laughs> my hair, man. Yeah, I done chopped it up, man. You know, I chopped off the wicks. And what let me tell you, people think I cut my hair because they think like, oh I you know, I just it was like, oh, this new journey, he's cutting his hair. <laughs> and I was gonna ask you because it's an, it was you know, people start off their new year a certain way and it was in January. No, but let me tell you what happened. I'm gonna be real with you because I <laughs> I was one of them like stubborn dreads, dreadlock having guys like where's like, oh my dreads is my power. I'm mm -hmm. never cutting them off. That was me really. Mm -hmm. But what happened was, um, cause you know I took my goals out too. Yes, and, got, and, and just got give them a down. smile. Okay, y'all see the teeth? It's teething. <laughs> That's twenty two thousand in the mouth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but um, so I took my when I took my goals out. That's when I got into fitness. Mm -hmm. So I took out my goals, got my pearly whites, and I started working out. And I wanted to, you know, just look better. Mm -hmm. Now, fast forward, when it came down to me cutting my hair. Because mm -hmm. that went viral. You was everywhere. Yeah, I had I had an open case mm -hmm. that I was out on bond for for five years. I caught another case while I was filming Love and Hip Hop. <laughs> no more cases this year. In the name of Jesus, we rebuke it. Amen. Okay. Hey, man, I caught another case that I was filming while I was on Love and Hip Hop. Mm -hmm. And I was out on bond for that case for five years. And I had to go to trial in January. January 17th was my trial. Mm -hmm. So it was like my lawyer told me, hey, you know, you took out your gold teeth. Mm -hmm. You know, you look so much better. <laughs> I think you should cut your hair before trial because you're, you're going to have a jury, mm -hmm. a jury in there. Right. And, you know, I just want you to look your best because I might need you to take the stand. Mm -hmm. And I'm like... And then he's like, you know, you're facing up to 10 years. Mm -hmm. I was like, he was laying it on it thick. I was like, I'm facing up to how much time? Yeah, up to, if you, if you lose trial, you can get up to 10 years. Mm -hmm. And he said, the minimum amount of time you can get is two years. Mm -hmm. So I say, wait, if I lose trial, um, the minimum is two years. Yeah. And the maximum is 10. Yeah. I called my boy Fats the Barber. <laughs> I say, Fats, where you at? 
He said, I'm at the barbershop. I said, I need to come get a lineup. He thought I was coming to get a lineup. Mm -hmm. I walked in there. And you just grabbed the scissors and went in. And I said, everybody, y'all come and cut a dread. God damn it. <laughs> and then I cut the dreads and um, I and you posted. Beat the case? I beat the case. Okay. I, beat, I knew I'm that here. already, I'm but free. I'm just I'm making free. sure. So <laughs> I beat the case, but I posted it and I he was like, oh my God, this, is, this is transition is so amazing. And I'm like, damn, hell yeah, I did this transition. This is my transition, you know, y'all. And I'm like, shit, y'all don't even know. Nigga, I went to trial and I had to chop these shits just so I could look good for this jury. But it was um, God's plan. If y'all ain't hearing nothing, God's plan, okay? It was God's plan because I wasn't even supposed to cut my hair. Mm -hmm. That was God's plan. But how do you feel like with, with the attention that you got from cutting your hair and then just with the locks being gone? It is a new chapter, a new journey. Like, how are you feeling afterwards? Oh, no, it's been a couple I feel, months. Yeah, I feel amazing, man. Like, it's like this whole, my whole, that's why I, all, that's why I keep saying God's plan. Mm -hmm. It's like everything happened on God's time. I met a person mm -hmm. who gave me a different outlook on women. Mm -hmm. At the same time, I was I was I I, I was dropping the uh, I was drop, going to drop the song for her, mm -hmm. the Princess Treatment song. Yeah. At the same time, when I cut my hair, mm -hmm. and all of the women across the world say I'm a sex symbol now. <laughs> it was like everything just fell in. It was like a domino effect, and yeah. I was like, you know what? This is amazing. So then, that's what inspired also the album to be called The Provider. Mm -hmm. And I and I and I and I didn't I, I, and I don't want to go over um. Women head because when you listen yeah. to the music on there, I, I am talking about doing things for women financially, mm -hmm. but I'm also talking about things like like mental. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Mentally, also stimulating them mentally with with songs like I got a song called Keep Living. Mm -hmm. I got a song called on there called Potential. Okay. Um, I got a song on there called uh, um um He gonna only make it worse. Mm. Or make That's it worse. That sounds like. Get out the door. Yeah, because the song say, if that nigga broke, you better leave him because he ain't going to make it better. He going to only make it worse, right. brother. Okay, that's about. And when the album coming out again? Uh, the last week of March. Last week of March. Yeah. And did you, is it going to be any features? Because I don't think you said oh, yes yeah. or no. Oh, yeah. So I got, I got Suki Hunter on the album. Okay. Oh, I got She's on another song or just, that's the Princess That Princess Tree. Okay, Princess I got uh, Flo Rida on the album. Okay. Um, I got Safari gonna be on the album. Safari, that's gonna be okay. Yeah. I'm gonna have to listen I got, to that. I got Yak on the album. Okay. I ain't that's it. I ain't gonna tell you no more. Well, he didn't told us enough, y'all. I ain't gonna tell y'all no more. He didn't told us so enough. The album gonna be pretty dope. It's gonna be pretty dope. And this is on your label, Bula. Bula Music. music Bula. Bula. What does that mean? So this why this why I say, it. <laughs> watch this. Bula is better off out of love anyway. Say it one more time. I'm better off out of love anyway. <laughs> so B O O L. -A. I yeah, and I was coming out with the clothing line, better off out of love apparel. Mm. Because I told you, I'm Mr. These Holes for everybody. So it was like. Not no was, more, though. Not no more. You <laughs> feel what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm going to have to put together another acronym for it. But mm. I got Bula from um, Fiji. I went to Fiji. Mm. And over there, that's how they greet you. Mm -hmm. They'll greet you Bula. like that. Okay. Yeah, they'll greet you like that. And that's like basically saying it, it like enjoy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Period. So so like I, I got this thing where I be calling myself a shindigger. And a shindig <laughs> is like an ongoing extravaganza. Mm -hmm. So it's like shindig and bula. Like it's like I'm just living my life, enjoying it's just life. An experience. It's an experience. I'm just enjoying life and having fun. Mm -hmm. So it's like in and when you live in that kind of life, you know, it's hard to be in a relationship and living that kind of life. Yeah. That's what I thought at that yeah. time until I met somebody that gave me a different perspective. So you know, yeah, so Bula is better off out of love anyway. Okay. And, now and with the with the with the bay, will we see her on this season of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta? You gonna break her out there? Yeah, at some point she definitely gonna be be, be coming out there. I'm actually gonna let you meet her because she actually lives in my building. Oh, okay. Yeah. She gonna come on the camera and say hello to the viewers? Nah, she ain't gonna, okay. no, 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 not yet. We ain't gonna, okay, okay. We ain't gonna debut her, but I, uh, I, I was telling her about you and stuff like that, okay. and she's actually a person, very influential person, that okay. has a very big... Connections? She has a very big story. Okay. She's an entrepreneur also. Okay. She has a, 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 a phenomenal story, and I, I wanted her to meet you because... I want her to be able to tell her story through you and through your platform also. Period. Like so like so I was gonna put y'all together. Okay. She just didn't wanna come down and, and, and interrupt the interview. Okay. But I, I'm gonna put you I'm gonna put you all in the hustle so y'all can so y'all can catch our little woman's bond and, 
And, you know, she she could give you a bit of her story and then, you know, you know. I'm about to take some notes of her. I'm like, okay, look, this I ain't got no men, but I'm trying to get the person to cheat me. What I need? <laughs> but I don't want to take up too much time because we've been chatting so much. I feel like you gave me so much about your story. I know yes. you now chaotic. Yes. Before Love and Hip Hop. Yes. Bula Music Group. The yeah. provider dropping at the end of March. Bow. Three shows that you own. Bow. Doing real estate, businesses, Bow. and how you are embracing people in the music and, industry. And I'm an influencer. Pe we already social know that. Media influencer. I just have to he, throw that he out. cutting there. up on the gram. Yeah, I love I love entertaining on social media. That's why I say, like, when you ask me, like, something that the social media is like, people say that we, 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 uh, social media took a lot of things. Mm -hmm. I can agree that it took people out of, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like that's only if you allow it to. Mm -hmm. Because me, I have my fair share of social media, and then I have my fair share of real life. Yeah. I still, it's got to be a good balance, honestly. I still go on the picnic. I still go play basketball. Mm -hmm. I still go jog on the streets. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I use these platforms to promote and, 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 and um brand myself. Right. And, and, and get get my, my, my content to the world. And then I shut them off and I still watch TV. I got a bookshelf right there. I still read books. I still do oh, stuff that that normal people do also. So, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I feel like as long as you got a balance, it's great. But I feel like social media is a phenomenal thing for us because it gives us a place to, like, touch the world without even touching the world. Yeah, as long as y'all using the platform the way it's supposed to be using. Exactly. And he's dropped so many gems. So, if people are not already following you, let them know where they can follow you at on your, all your platforms. Every platform from YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, everywhere, Chaotic305, K-H-A-O-T-I-C-305, Chaotic with a K. So, if you know how to spell Chaotic, <laughs> just put a K instead of a C and put a 305 behind it, and you can find me anywhere. And you can... Uh, find my music on any any one of the platforms you go to just click the link in the bio and you'll find all my music period. or just go to bulamusicgroup.com and you'll find everything there period thank you so much you're welcome <laughs> <laughs>